Hello and welcome to our lecture on mitosis. Mitosis is a cell division process we use to produce new cells for growth or to replace damaged or lost cells. For example, in our skin mitosis occurs in the stratum basale and we shed old cells from the stratum corneum. After fertilization, mom's egg and dad's sperm joining you formed all of your body's cells using mitosis. We will later contrast this with meiosis, the process that creates gametes, egg and sperm. Cell division actually requires more than just mitosis, as mitosis is just concerned with dividing the chromosomes. So, the division process, or cell cycle, actually has three steps, interphase, mitosis, and cytokinesis. Mitosis is preceded by interphase, a time of growth and replication. Some cells, for example gametes, most neurons, cells at rest, don't divide, entering what is referred to as G sub zero. Dividing cells enter mitosis. Before we learn the stages of mitosis, Let's discuss what mitosis is for. Mitosis is a single division, so it produces two daughter cells. Chromosomes are copied prior to mitosis, so mitosis produces diploid cells. Diploid cells have two copies of each chromosome, one from each parent. Haploid gametes have only one copy of each. The two daughter cells have identical genetic information. We know this because each daughter cell receives one sister chromatid. Sister chromatids are identical copies of a chromosome, the result of DNA replication during interphase. They are attached to each other at their centromeres prior to division. Don't confuse sister chromatids with homologous chromosomes, the two members of a chromosome pair. We receive one homologous chromosome from our mom and the other from our dad. Let's look at the four basic stages of mitosis. The acronym PMAT can help you remember the order of the phases of mitosis. Prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Don't worry about prometaphase. Some people find it helpful to recognize an additional stage. I don't. In prophase, chromosomes condense and become visible. In interphase, the genetic material existed as more spread out, uncoiled chromatin. Being eukaryotes, our DNA is surrounded by a nucleus. In prophase, the nuclear envelope breaks down so that the chromosomes can separate. In metaphase, the chromosomes line up along the equator of the cell in preparation for division. In anaphase, the sister chromatids, or daughter chromosomes, separate and move towards the poles. In telophase, chromosomes arrive at the poles. A nuclear envelope then forms around each set of chromosomes. Cytokinesis completes cell division by splitting the cytoplasm and separating the daughter cells. One daughter cell can enter the cell cycle again while the other can fulfill its specific role in the body. Here we can see how a single blood stem cell can give rise to many blood cell types through mitosis.